ರೋಟರಿ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ ಟೌನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಮಣಿಪಾಲ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ರೋಗಿಗಳ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆ ವೆಚ್ಚಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿದಂತಹ ಸಾಂಸ್ಕೃತಿಕ ಸ್ಪರ್ಧೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನರಸಿಂಹ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾನ ನೃತ್ಯ ಶಾಲೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ತಂಡಗಳು ಪ್ರಥಮ ಸ್ಥಾನವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದು ಒಂದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಮೊತ್ತದ ಬಹುಮಾನವನ್ನ ತಮ್ಮದಾಗಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೂಪುರ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಕುಂದಾಪುರ ಹಾಗೂ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ನೃತ್ಯಾಲಯ ತಂಡಗಳು ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಸ್ಥಾನವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದು ಅರವತ್ತು ಮೌಲ್ಯದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ತಂಡವು ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತ ಐದು ಸಾವಿರ ಮೌಲ್ಯದ ಬಹುಮಾನದೊಂದಿಗೆ ಮೂರನೇ ಸ್ಥಾನವನ್ನು ತಮ್ಮದಾಗಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ನೃತ್ಯ ವಸಂತ ನೃತ್ಯಾಲಯ ಮತ್ತು ಕಲಾ ಮಾಯಂ ತಂಡಗಳು ಸಮಾಧಾನಕರ ಬಹುಮಾನದ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಹತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ಮೊತ್ತದ ನಗದು ಬಹುಮಾನವನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ತಮ್ಮದಾಗಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಣಿಪಾಲದ ಗೋಲ್ಡನ್ ಜುಬ್ಲಿ ಹಾಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದಂತಹ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಗವರ್ನರ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಜೆ ಗೌರಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಇತರ ಗಣ್ಯರು ಉದ್ಘಾಟಿಸಿದರು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಅವರು ಮಕ್ಕಳಲ್ಲಿನ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ರೋಗದ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಅಪಾರ ಪ್ರಗತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಯ ಮೂಲಕ ಮಕ್ಕಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಡುಬರುವಂತಹ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಯನ್ನು ಗುಣಪಡಿಸಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಎಂಬುದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಪ್ರಚುರಪಡಿಸಬೇಕೆಂಬುದಾಗಿ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿ ಮಾತನಾಡಿದಂತಹ ಮಾಹೆ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ಡಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಮಾತನಾಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಗಾಗಿ ರೋಟರಿ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಟೌನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಮಾಹೆಯ ಈ ಒಂದು ಯೋಜನೆ ಮೂಲಕವಾಗಿ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕೋಟಿ ರೂಪಾಯಿಯನ್ನು ಸಂಗ್ರಹಿಸುವ ಗುರಿಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಲಾಗಿದೆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ರೋಗಕ್ಕೆ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ ಬಡವ ಎಂಬ ಭೇದವಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗೂ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿ ಬಡ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಈ ರೋಗಕ್ಕೆ ತುತ್ತಾಗಿರುವುದು ಆತಂಕದ ಸಂಗತಿ ಎಂಬುದಾಗಿ ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ತಿಳಿಸಿದರು Can we have a big round of applause? performance may face disqualification overall impression participants kindly note decision of the judges will be fine for one to come and perform ladies of identification right three 
Cancer has undergone a huge big change, especially in children, childhood cancers, and therefore we, the, the, the fact that we can even talk about a cure, that itself is a huge big step. And I congratulate Manipal Town for taking the initiative because almost 30% of children with cancer, they leave the, the, the treatment because they cannot afford the treatment. And so because of this project, we'll be able to collect funds and help those children who, will not, who are not able to go through the whole program of chemotherapy and so on. I congratulate them again and I thank them all for the wonderful opportunity. It was nearly impossible to have children coming out from childhood cancer because the treatment is expensive and most people were not able to afford the treatment. There is sustained treatment for childhood cancer. Cancer knows, does not recognize between a rich man and a poor man and often it is the poor children who are the victims of this cancer and more than anything else it was also the lack of avail availability of the right kind of treatment options and the specialists to treat these childhood cancers. Today, the scenario has changed quite a bit. Most of the childhood cancers are curable provided they are recognized early, appropriate treatment is offered, more often than not the chemotherapeutic regimes and the bone marrow transplant later on will require a sustained presence in the place close to the treating hospital. Otherwise, there would be defaulters on treatment, otherwise there would be loss to follow up, and therefore all the efforts that the doctors would do would end in vain. Founder, Dr. Tame Pai, later by Dr. Ramdas Pai, that any philanthropic contribution which is made for establishment of an endowment in Mahe will find a matching grant. And I think this already our pro-chancellor has committed the matching grants to any corpus that is raised out of this endeavor. And we are all very concerned. And also another important aspect is our dynamic pediatric oncologist, hemato oncologist. Dr. Vasudev Past has taken a lot, lot of effort and also along with Dr. Navin Salins. Uh, a lot of progress is happening in our cancer center more so in the field of pediatric cancer. Just the last week, we established one of the perhaps best equipped in a domiciliary care center for cancer, children suffering from cancers where they could stay close to the hospital and continue their treatment, especially for those children who are coming from places outside of Manipal. See, recently on the 124th birth anniversary of our founder, Dr. TMA Pai, we inaugurated a center, Access Life Mahi Manipal Center, home away from home, basically for children with cancer and their caregivers. This initiative was done by Vasudev Bhatt. Villapa, let others see. He is instrumental in starting all this. He is a pediatric hemato-oncologist along with Navin Salins. Basically to enlighten the people that as Gauri said, many people in the past we used to think that uh, if it is cancer, it is like death sentence. Today it is no more so. Most of the cancers, especially in children, are curable. They can lead a normal life, provided they are diagnosed early and proper treatment and advice is given. Not H.S. Vallal, as our Vice Chancellor rightly said. More than H.S. Vallal, H. The, the Vice Chancellor, Lieutenant General Venkatesh is very important because he is the boss of the university, not H.S. Vallal. And also, our Chancellor, Ramdas Pai, took a policy decision of the ma of uh, Mahi that anybody giving a good uh, donation for a good cause, any philanthropic cause, especially for like cancer and all, we will give matching grant. And it will be used for the purpose for which the main donor gives, not for what Mahi's name will not be there at all. So that's how it started and uh, we will continue to do that. Hilda, are you listening? Because you are, I believe, responsible for this Nava Chetana and other things. And her uh, target is one crore, I believe, which is still far away. And we will help you to the maximum possible extent. On behalf of my wife, Santana, I am giving you this 